UPS said today will issue refunds to some customers who paid for delivery by Christmas but did not get their packages on time. The delays also affected FedEx and led to anger from shoppers. Manuel Bohorkas found some people in Texas still waiting. UPS said it was making deliveries in every zip code in the U.S. today, but still experiencing heavy volume. Stephen Cullen is waiting for four packages in Keller, Texas. He says he paid extra for UPS to deliver them by Christmas Eve. And they did not keep their promise. They still have not told us when they will deliver our products. You're frustrated. Of course I am. I'm angry. Icy weather and a shorter holiday shopping season were already pushing UPS and FedEx to the limits. But it was a record rush of online orders last weekend that made the difficult impossible. It'll be months before it's all picked up. Bernard Weinstein teaches business economics at Southern Methodist University. It's really the retailers who were at least partly to blame because they did overpromise. Too many retailers were promising overnight delivery, two-day delivery, when the capacity to deliver just wasn't there. Those guarantees, along with offers of free shipping, helped push online sales in the final days before Christmas nearly 40 percent higher than a year ago. One retail tracking firm found U.S. store visits in the week ending December 22nd dropped 21 percent from last year, as procrastinators overwhelmingly chose to go online than to the mall. Neither UPS nor FedEx would reveal exactly how many packages were delayed, saying the majority were delivered on time. While they try to catch up, they are dealing with a wave of returns and exchanges. Jeff, they tell us that peaks on January 2nd. Manuel, thank you.